Hello everybody and welcome back to another glue tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you all the amazing features included in the power glue tool set. Now let's get into it. In this video I'm going to walk you through some of the amazing features that are included in power glue. First of all we've got topography plus. This is going to allow us to add some really cool effects to some text such as gradient strokes and background images. We then have Clickable Plus. This will allow us to assign links to widgets and sections or columns. We then have Keyframe Animator. This is going to allow us to create our own custom keyframes and apply these to any elements that we want. We have Draggable Plus. This is a front-end draggable tool, so we can drag elements around on the front end of our website. We then have Device Widget. This will allow us to add videos, iframes, images, or even movie clips to the screen of a device, so an image of a device. We finally have Google AdSense, and this is gonna allow us to simply and easily add Google Ads to our pages in the elemental way. So let's go ahead and get started. Topography Plus, this is gonna allow us to elevate the look of our text by either adding a stroke or a background image using the background clip text feature. Now if we head over to our widget, let's take a look at how this works. So I've already gone ahead and creating a heading widget. And what we're gonna do is first of all, assign a stroke. So what we need to do is head over to the style tab and with topography plus enabled, it's gonna show us this new text stroke property. If we go ahead and click edit, we're gonna assign a stroke color. And what we're gonna do is assign a light blue so we can see this and then we're gonna assign a size so immediately we can see the stroke in action. So let's go ahead and do that now. So as you can see, immediately with this new tool, we've added a stroke. Now let's go a little bit further. Let's go ahead and turn this into a gradient stroke. So as you can see, we've got this gradient stroke toggle beneath. So let's go ahead and enable this. Straight away, you can see it's gone red. And that's because the gradient colors that are available by default have taken over the color. So let's go ahead and play with this. So as you can see, we've got three colors available to us. Let's go ahead and mix these up so that we can see the gradient in action. And we're just gonna alter the stroke slightly so that we can see this a bit better. So we're gonna assign a yellow, and then we're gonna assign a blue. Now, as you can see, we can only see the yellow moving into the orange because it's mixing up the colors. But obviously what we need to do is just change the location of this down to 50. And that will display all three colors across the gradient. Now you can see immediately how this enhances the text by simply just assigning a really nice gradient stroke. Now what we can also do is add an image as the stroke to the text. So let's go ahead and look at this stroke image option. So let's go ahead and enable that now. What we need to do is select an image from our media library. We'll check this image out and assign it here. And as you can see, the image is actually wrapped around the text, much like you would when you were just assigning a color or a gradient. So that's how you add a stroke to your text. Now let's move over and let's take a look at adding a background using the clip text feature. So let's go ahead and just remove this for now and go to the advanced tab if we go down to background we've got the usual options of adding a background but we've also got this background clip text option let's go ahead and add our image so we're going to use the same image but we're going to assign center center fixed no repeat and we're going to make this cover now if we do the background clip you can see straight away we've added the background to our text so it's clipped the image into the text itself now of course this doesn't need to be fixed we can add this as default or scroll and it will just be static to the topography so there we have it and that's how easy it is to really elevate the text with clickable plus enabled it will give us a new option which allows us to assign a link let me show you how this works so with the section that we have placed on our website, if we click on the section, with clickable plus enabled, we have this clickable plus option available to us. So if we open this up, and then if we toggle active clickable on, 
it will give us a field to add a link and we get all the usual options that you'd expect within Elementor. So if we were to assign a link to our section and update this, when we go and view this on the front end, this whole section is now clickable and it will take us to the link that we assigned to this. So there we have it. So Draggable Plus is yet another cool feature included in the Glue toolset. This is going to allow us to give the ability to users to drag elements around the page on the front end. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So if we place a button in view, when we head over to the advanced tab of this widget, we now have this option called Draggable Plus and it's just a simple on off toggle. So let's go ahead and update this with this off. Let's go and take a look at our page. As you can see, all I can do is click. It doesn't allow me to drag the element. Let's go ahead and now enable this and update. Let's refresh our page. And now, as you can see, if we drag this element around the page, and it also doesn't stop the action on the button either.